Hello everyone. So today I want to share with you a tip regarding hypermesh automation um, based on a uh, easy request, let's say, um, basic request that I received from some, some one of our users. So let's review this request. So the user received a, a model, an OptiStruck model, which has a unique property assigned to all components. And he wanted to assign a specific material to a certain number of components so that he could assign a different property for each material. So what he wanted to do is to look for a list of components, pick one component and check its property, duplicate the property and assigning back to a new component and go on over the lists. Uh, so that then he can assign the material of interest for each of these properties. So let's have a look at how we can do this. Um, I proposed him, uh, and this is what I did first at the beginning, to use multi-edition here to select one property. Um, it was not uh, okay for him as he needed the, um, the possibility to change the thickness. So um, in some cases, just allowing or doing multi-edit works, but in that case, that was not enough. So let me go in the situation of the same configuration than the user. And now let's say that these are my components of interest. Basically what I want to do is to pick my first component, look for the property. Um, I want to duplicate the property. So let's go to the property tab. Let's right click, duplicate the property. You see that I already did some try prior to the video. Uh, as I have already one property duplicated. And then let me go back to assembly and change component two with the new property. So now that I have done this interactively, I will be able to review the commands uh, from the command.tcl file. So edit command. Uh, if you uh, by default, this file is stored. There is a file stored in um, my documents, uh, which is command.tcl. And if you have multiple hypermesh instances at the same time, you may have multiple command.tcl. So what we see here, we see several commands. The star, the one starting with star not, start not is to restate and end not is to restate, contains a block of actions. Here it was for updating property ID of components, but in fact, it's just clear a mark. Uh, I will just exp explain just after what is a mark. So I don't need this information. What I see here is that we modify the property of one component from two to 28. 28 is my new property. So this is this command, which uh, has some interest for me. So let me pick just this line. I will paste it on my notepad plus plus. So let me clear this one. You see, I need some, some test before and I can remove these commands. Again, go so the top of face color, it just a display commands. I don't need it. Clear mark properties, I can remove it. And I have this uh, start create entity, same as properties two. So two for, was for my ID of first property. So let me pick this one and move it to Notepad++. So what I have now is one command which duplicates the property. And another command which assigns a new property. Let me save it. Cross hypermesh split properties. V zero dot one dot TCL. Oh, 
Okay, and now I have the clock code with Notepad++, so this will be easier to review and let me do a little bit in. So now what do I need in addition? I need first to select entities. So in the command TCL we saw several commands starting with star clear mark and we have also some commands here. I have one where I assigned when my property to all my components, when I started the video, I had this start create mark. And basically, every time you select some entities, you have some possibilities to select entities in the move, in the organize, everywhere, it creates a mark. Um, you can, the command that TCL uh, returns in the mark information per, uh, either per name, per component name, if you're dealing with components, but for most of the entity, uh, it returns the raw IDs of the selection. So the, the syntax is star create mark, components, or elements, or loads, or load collectors, everything that has a data name in HyperMesh. The ID of the buffer, ID can be of the component buffer, in that case, ID can be one or two, and the list of entities. Instead of the list of entities, you could have some filters such as uh, it could be star create mark components one. You can use displayed, for instance. Uh, you can also do some geometric um, selection. So by defining by box, and you have a list of arguments to be defined. So x, minus x, minus y, minus z, plus x, plus y, plus z, plus some other parameters. So you can retrieve them from the online help. You can also look for the components having a, or the properties having a specific thickness, for instance. So you have a lot of filters. Feel free to look at star create mark online help to get all the information. Here, instead, what I will do is to use a star create mark panel command, which allows to leave the user select interactively its entities and select components of interest, for instance. So what if I pick just this line? Put it in HyperMesh. View TCL console. Control V. So you see I have a guide bar here with a selection. I can either select on screen. Or here I will pick the three dots by assembly. Flap geom. Okay. 13 components selected. And my, my buffer is uh, defined. Now I need to push these entities into a TCL list. So to define a list in TCL, we need to use the command set, which is to define a variable. The variable will be considered as a list by default, but it can be a list with only one single item or multiple items. It will be our case. And I want to push in this variable, so which will be called component list. I want to push the result of one command, one TCL command, which is hm get mark underscore components one. So this is a TCL command uh, that you can run in HyperMesh. So you see, if I hit these commands, I get the list of IDs, but they are not stored anywhere in the TCL. So um, sorry, sorry. Um, I need to go into, I need to store this and to store this command into the variable. I need, in fact, to put, and this is something which is prepared to TCL, I need to put this command into square brackets, which means that the output of this command will be written uh, as the definition of the variable here. So now I have defined my lists. What I need to do now um, so select entities and store them in a list. Now I need to extract the first component and get its property ID. So for this, what I can do is use uh, the index command uh, in TCL, which returns the information for the uh, of uh, the index of a list. So set first components, an index, 
dollar complete. So dollar complete is needed to uh, return the content of the list. So, and I will look for index zero. So here few few information. So let me copy this one first. Control V, enter. So you see that now I have my list. If I say puts complete, what I get is complete. If I say puts dollar complete, what I get is the content of the list. And now if I say that I want the content of the, the first item of the list, as I mentioned, I need to use this instruction, index dollar complete zero, and you see that I get the 175. And now what I want is a uh, first property and I will use another state TCL statement, uh, another hypermesh TCL statement, which is HM get value. So I want for the comps, I want for the comp ID equal to dollar first component, I can maybe Keep first count, it will be easier to read. And I want to request one attribute which is data or one data name in the syntax, which is property dot id. So let's pick these two ones. And for components 175 property so 175. Property is property two. And now I want to look for to uh, on all other components except my first component. So set component list and I will update component list by um, there's multiple way I can do it. I will use the L remove option here. So I want to L remove. Oh, I will pick L range here, for instance, L range. I want the range of the list, dollar complete from ID from index one, because we are indexed on the row, to, to the end. And will be the final index of the list. So if I do this, control C, control V, you see that I have all my elements a part of the first one. So remove to from original list comp one, and now uh, create the loop for duplicating property and assigning it to the component to each component. So for running this loop, we have a TCL statement, which is for each, which is a bit different for, than the standard for that you may know from other codes, which allow to browse for every entity of a list. So for each component, this will be our kind of indexed dollar comp list. Then I use curly brace to define the body and I use curly brace again to close the body. So here, what I want to do is to create entity same as property two. To here, what the idea of the property? I don't want to hard code two. I want it to be first property instead. So here, I will use dollar first property. And uh, so this is duplicate the property. I can paste it again on top. Sorry. And now I want to assign the, the new property. So to which property do I want to, to, to which component do I want to assign the new property? I want to assign it to dollar component, dollar comp here. And then I need the property ID. So uh, I need to get this ID. 
uh, and for this I need to create to get the uh, the last one so what I can do is to use start create mark property um, one the buffer of the property and minus one minus one will return me the ID of the last property created set new prop hm get mark property one and then instead of 28 I will call dollar new prop So here's my TCL uh, code. So ID of the new property. And so this should work now. So let me go to my uh, folder with my macros, WT. Macros, hypermesh. Uh, let me share them. And let me try to apply it. So, what I can do is just drag it and drop it. So, select my components. I will use the uh, flap geom, which is the one that I define. Uh, let me go to assemblies and let me validate. Okay, so I did a complete, my bad. Um, complete with uppercase, uh, first comp, com uppercase, complete uppercase. Where did I use the complete? Or here I defined the complete with lowercase. So let me save it, go back to Hyperworks. Load again my property. So let me select my components. Sorry. Okay. Let me validate. Okay. Still a small mistake. Typo error. ID equals to like comp. New prop is correct. Okay, so let me try again. Okay, and here now, if I look, I have one property per component. So my macro is done. Hope you enjoy this new tip. See you later. Goodbye, everyone.